With mobile computing, in today's environment, it's a big deal. It's not unusual for sensitive data to be on those PCs and diskettes and laptops. And it's sometimes difficult to implement a physical security on mobile devices. So just some of the controls that you can use to reduce the risk, do things like engraving or branding a serial number on the property, cable locks to try to uh, protect the theft of the laptop. But I gotta tell you this, you put a cable lock on your laptop all you want. If I'm really a hacker and I want your data, I don't care. I mean, the idea of a cable lock is, uh, number one, if I didn't know how to pick it with a little piece of cardboard like they show you on YouTube, what I could do is just, you know, rip it free, right? And, and the reason it was supposed to help is that, you know, it rips out part of the system board so the computer becomes unoperative. Yeah. Like, that's what I cared about, right? And that's how I was, uh, you know, just a young kid wanting a free laptop. Now, if I'm a hacker, I'll leave that thing there. I'll just smash it open and steal the hard drive. That's what I really want. So I'm not a big fan of cable locks other than, you know, it keeps a lot of honest people from, from stealing your stuff, I suppose. Anyway, what I am a big fan of, back up the critical and sensitive data. So if you do lose these mobile devices, you have your information. The stuff on those mobile devices, encrypt them. Um, use uh, OK passwords for uh, individual files. Uh, and also have a theft response team. What are you going to do? Who do you call? Do you have a, a, a way of reporting it and a response to maybe find? I mean, there's software out there uh, that uh, you can load onto a system. So if somebody uh, gets onto the Internet with a stolen device, it's going to phone home and tell you where they are and all sorts of cool stuff. So, uh, you know, have a theft response team that might be looking for that.